Hey everybody, we are back at it again with another Shadows Over Loathing. This is going to be part four. Um, I sure hope you all have been enjoying this series as much as I have, because this has been a blast. Alright. So we have just defeated the spiders. Okay, so we did the spiders. Oh, uh, botany. Let's go to the West Wing, I guess. On your walk across campus, you find the nod. You get the nod from a disheveled rail rider with the grossly swollen bindle. Howdy, you buying? I don't know. What do you sell? Wares and such. Sure. Sure, let's see what you have. Good to hear, good to hear. Now hop on and follow me. My name's David Abea. Oh. Where's my wares, are you wondering, eh? Sal at the store, pal. Don't carry my inventory on my back like some cargo ant. So are you coming or what? We'll, f we'll go to you later, dude. Astronomy. That's one thing I need to do. You speak into the microphone. Uh, can I go in here? Student ID. A.M. Murphy identified. Access to this doorway is limited to students and faculty in the astronomy department. That's me. Go on in. Holy shit. This is a, a pretty long classroom. All right, teach, what you got? Oh, hello, are you taking my astrology course? Astrology? I thought this was supposed to be astronomy. Astrology is kind of unscientific for SIT, isn't it? Um, yes, well, some take that narrow pedestrian view, certainly. Such as the Dean and the Grant Committee. But I suppose if you're just here for astronomy, I could give you the edited version, of course. I'm actually in a hurry, so that'd be great. I have 15 constellation diagrams on the blackboard behind me. Only 12 of them are genuine. All you have to do is mark the three false ones. Seems pretty straightforward. How do I find out which ones? By exploring the heavens themselves. Come again. There's a telescope on the roof of FSIT's spider wing. You can get there through the scholar wing. <clears throat> oh, okay. I thought you were going to teach me how to do astral travel or something. No, I saved that for the 201. So now we gotta go back to the damn spider thing. Roof access. Look into the eyepiece. Okay, so we got a guy riding a skateboard. A little... I can't remember 13 of these fucking things, bro. Fish, Pac-Man, gun. That looks more like a jellyfish now. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Coffin. Fish. Well, that wasn't 13. Whatever these machines do, this one ain't doing it. So is there more telescopes? You aren't afraid of pigeons, but you're a little apprehensive about wandering into the middle of a huge crowd of them. A massive petrified pigeon poop. See how it feels. I got fustulant grulch. I guess we'll go back. All right. So, oh, all 13 of them were in the, th so I didn't see Texas, I didn't see the house, and I didn't see that. What can I do for you? 
I'm ready for you to check my work. All right, let's have a look. He turns and scans the black part. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You must have the cigar in your second house. Is that an insult? Go and have another look through the telescope. Well done! You're quadrupus, really? Uh, here, let me sign your transcript. I can't believe I got that! Oh my god! I didn't even see half of these damn things! That's what we call lucky! Wow! Okay. So now... That was so much easier than the spiders! Oh my god! Where have I not been? Oh, botany is going to be the greenhouse, I bet. Is this botany? Yes, it is. Okay, thank God. Go down. Alright, Teach, what you got for me? Excuse me. Um... I'm a botany major. Nice, me too. Okay. I'll elaborate. I'm a new botany major and I need to know what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, well, ultimately you need to get your transcript signed to show that you passed the course. I'm just a TA, so I can't do that for you. But Professor Callow should be in his office down on the other end of the lab. Is there a lecture or class anything first? You'd think so, right? But you're the only student here today, and nobody gave me a lecture or notes or anything. So where is he? He's down at the other end of the lab. Oh my god. Yep, I think we have to fight all of these things. Oh. Well, gear, see what's inside. Well, brah, unbar it. <coughs> well, how am I supposed to... I need some gear, bro. The other half of the lab was choked with pollen, bro. Yeah, those man traps are out pollen like you wouldn't believe. Someone probably pruned them back a bit. They've gotten real out of control. Was that maybe your job? If it wasn't, nobody said anything. Well, how do I get past him? You need a puba helmet. A what? A puba helmet. Pollen intoxifying breathing apparatus. I don't think intoxify is a real word. Yeah, but nobody likes an acronym you can't pronounce. Anyways, there's some in the cabinet over there. I already checked, you idiot. They're empty. Oh, well, that figures. Everyone always checking them out and not putting them back. So what should I do? Um, I guess you could try to hunt down someone that has one. Do you know who? Oh yeah, probably, let's see. He pokes around in the desk until he finds a small notebook. Got it, um, most of these kids are gonna be gone for the break. They wouldn't have taken the helmets with them though, right? Well, no, probably not. But it's not like you're gonna break in their dorms, right? I guess not. Right, exactly, dorm security is the real McCoy. After last year's big April Fool's hack anyway, what happened? Someone broke into maintenance and rewired all the elevators to go sideways. Wow. Hmm. Oh, Chip has one. There you go. Chip who? Chip Nonsley. He's a frat guy. No, fee upsilon tau. He didn't leave for break because he's monitoring some plants he's been working on. Fee upsilon tau is in the middle of the Greek row west of the campus across Fishin Boulevard. All right. Well, here we go. Going to the frat house. Ooh, we're going to get fucked up. We need to get behind the fucking house since my guy can't... Oh, there we go. Well, what the hell? Hi, are you Chip? Um, that depends on who you are and what your badge looks like. What? No, I'm not a cop or anything. I'm a botany student. My name's A.M. Ah, okay. In that case, I'm Chip. What's up? 
I need a Pooba helmet. Oh yeah, sure, I got the allergen situation worked out on my plants over here, so it's no problem. Here you go. What are these plants? Check it out, I'm breeding a new kind of beer. <coughs> like a different kind of hops? Nah, hops are just one ingredient beer. This is gonna make the whole beer, and you could smoke it. Smokable beer, oh my god. It kind of exists already. What, someone copied my idea? Just about every jazz musician, yeah. Oh, you mean reefer? No, 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 that's swell and all, but this is gonna be beer, see? Literally beer that you smoke? Right, I'm gonna call it Buzzweiser. What's wise about it? Well, hopefully it won't make you puke if you smoke too much of it. I see. Still working on that part though, huh? All right, well. Let's, uh, let's just go do our what we have to do with this thing then. Pooba helmet. Thank you. Oh, now I gotta fight with this goddamn thing on my head. Shit! Oh my. They're not gonna be able to be poisoned. Oh, they can be poisoned. That's, that's good. Well, at least they're not strong at all. How that one? Oh shit! Oh my god! We all got poisoned. Damn son! Ow! Zap! Dead. I got thick bark and a vine choker. Ooh. And my snack grew stronger. Is that fucking plant sound like Kirim serum K6? That's that's real sweet. Grab the soda. I got a green soda. Rate it. Ooh, I got gauze pads and tooth wax. Investigate. It appears to be some kind of handheld flash bulb thing. Tinker with it. I got an anti UV plant flasher. What? Reduce all plant enemy stats by an HP by 30? Oh my. Well, this was a great room to go into. Fight. Now there's five. Oh, my poor snake. <laughs> Just got absolutely sheboygined right off the bat, man. This will not end my turn, okay. That's pretty good. That is so good. You need to heal yourself and my snack. My snake is going to die. Oh my god, they just got health. Fuck. Pow this fucker. Alright, 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 alright. Negative six to all stats. Wow! That is so overkill, man. You have to save us, woman. Yes. Oh my gosh. That was insane. Oh, I got odd fruit. Oh, there's a big-ass one over there, dude. Hey, hello. Well, at least I got a flashlight. So much fungus, so little light. This mushroom appears to be every kind all at once. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's mushrooms growing out of the mushroom. 
I see, so that whoever is doing this wants to be in a nice... Absolutely no light in this lab. If you can read this, there's too much light. Wait. I, ha I literally just did something that had five mysticality. It must be my little... These things. Increases the damage concentrated this fluid is distilled. It's a potion. Whoa. Wow, that's good. Alright. Fight her. Oh, she's gonna give birth to plants. Oh, and my guys, and we got a guy with a shotgun. That's good. Why did my potion not fucking... There we go. Man, kill... Yeah, okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Oh, oh, oh my god! Fuck, dude, you were supposed to help more. Yeah, attack that big bitch. So now I could just attack these little guys because that big fucker's gonna die from poison, right? Yeah. Zap. Poison's gonna get it. Yes. Flap slap. Ooh, that's not very common where I get the big boss battle in one fucking try and my snake goes stronger. Okay, we got a pulsating seed pod. That's fucking disgusting. We got thick bark and a whip like vine. Very cool. Well, I just cleaned out your whole area, sir. Are you back here? He's not even here, dude. Search it. A travelogue written by botanic, but botanist who specialize in high altitude trees. Well, he wasn't back here, you asshole. I just wasted a hell of a lot of time. After a moment, the TA returns from wherever he was in his head and blinks at you. Yeah. The professor isn't in his office, dude. Oh, right. The semester's over, huh? I guess he'd be at his... Holiday home at Crystal Dream Lake, Dan. Thanks for remembering that after I fought all those plants, you asshole. Sure, no problem. Oh, where is this stupid holiday home then? Near the lake. I need you to be more specific. Um, well, it's sort of off. There's a road, and then it's like, just mark it on this postcard. No, it's okay. Bus stop. Crystal Dream Lake. Here we go. Hollow's house. It looks pretty dilapidated, dude. Based, based on what you can see through the window, the entire house is full of potting soil. Go through the big hole. Walk through the busted out door. Yeah, but check it anyways. Oof, it's even wilder in here than you expected. Half the vegetables have rotted and turned it into muck and mold, and the other half appear to be mutated experimental plants that have rapidly acclimated themselves to the environment and are using the rot as a fertilizer. It's like a small, foul-smelling alien jungle in this fridge. Make a salad. What? I said make a salad. Maybe it wasn't clear. We're talking about a selection of plants that is half rotted glop and half pulsating veins. This isn't the salad bar down at the Outback Sizzler. If you make me do this, there's no backing out halfway. You're gonna have to read the whole thing. Make a salad. Alright, well, I guess there's no point in, in fighting you on it. I know how, how this goes. You poke around the ruins of the kitchen until you find an intact salad bowl and wipe it off with your sleeve. Let's see, a salad would typically start with a bed of lettuce. The nearest equivalent you see here would be either some glistening green-brown sludge that is just barely holding together into a leaf-like sheets. Ooh! Or some broad, shiny green leaves dotted with blood-red spotches. That's gross. 
the gross brown sludge, the weird splotchy leaves. You pick a handful of the leaves and arrange them in the bottom of your bowl. It seems like the red spots are migrating towards where your hands touch leaves, so you try not to do th that too much, or let the spots actually touch your skin. What next? Maybe some sliced cucumber. You do see something in here that looks like it, it could be used as a cucumber, but it's mostly dissolved and leaked away, leaving behind a long blob of empty blackened cucumber skin, like a deflated slime leaking party balloon. Alternatively, you could take a vegetable that is sort of long and round like a cucumber, but it's yellow like a squash with rippling and bulging bright green veins. The weird vegetable. You take the weird squash-like thing and find a rusty kitchen knife to slice it with. Neon green juice spritzes out with surprising force as you do, narrowly missing your eyes and tingling fiercely where it gets on your skin. The inner flesh of the vegetable is black with an oily purple sheen and it smells like a brand new car tire that a cat peed on. You arrange the slices neatly in your bowl. The next thing you find while rooting around in the fridge is a surprisingly intact looking onion. Next to it is a thing of similar shape and size, but more of a puce color and twitching slightly. The other thing. As soon as your knife pierces the skin of the puce colored onion, it bursts open and thousands of tiny pink mites pour out of it, scampering everywhere on long spider-like legs. They vanish quickly, finding various crevices throughout the kitchen to hide in. Hopefully none of those crevices belong to you. You calmly slice what's left of the vegetable and add it to your salad. The perfect thing to top off a salad is, in my opinion, some nice fresh cherry tomatoes. You do find a small bowl of round things that might be grayish green cherry tomatoes, or rotting grapes, or pickled egg quail eggs, or maybe just green olives. Ugh, I hate green olives. I love green olives. There's also a plant that has spread some berries of similar size and shape, except they're white. Well, not exactly white, sort of off-white, except the off part isn't quite the same color you get to a normal off-white. <laughs> what color is this in? You tip the bowl to pour the things out into your hand. It takes a little while. They stick together and slowly ooze out of the bowl, tumbling and landing on your salad. Plop, plop, plop. Trailing thin threads of clear slime that stick to the bowl's rim. Now you just need some kind of dressing to top this all off with. Luckily, there's two bottles in the fridge door. One filled with something gray and labeled blue cheese grassing, and one filled with bright pink liquid and handwritten label that says, Number three. We're going to do... The pirate dressing. You open the bottle and pour a generous helping of hot pink number three onto your salad. Woo! It's thin and oily. Maybe it's sort of a raspberry vinaigrette? Maybe you could pretend that. It smells like chemicals, which I admit is vague, but I can't think of any other way to describe it. The smell you thought of when I said it smells like chemicals, that's what it smells like. Well, I guess congratulations are in order. Well, I guess congratulations are in order. You have successfully created something that technically should be called a salad. Bon appetit. I got a questionable salad. It gives me one muscle and one masculinity. Well, that's good. That was a lot. Grab it. I got a dish. It's an expensive water dish. All right. This leads to the dirt room. <laughs> There's no space in there for you. Okay. Well. Uh, what's in the shack? I could fill up the dog dish. Did you know that Bakelite is just a trade name for polyox benzyl methyl glycol anhydride? If you say yes, I won't believe you. You flip through the journal to the last page. Um, okay, it seems to have devolved into madness by the end. Let's try a few pages back. Success, I have bread a tomato that can produce seemingly infinite amount of juice. This could totally rev revolutionize the juice industry. And they said I was crazy for trying to transplant human bone marrow into a tomato. Well, that's intriguing and a little disturbing. Examine it. This must be a special infinite juice tomato the professor made with the human bone marrow. Take the tomato. You got an infinitely juicy tomato. They'll be able to mix a whole dynasty of Bloody Marys in a kind of literal sense. Fish with my hot rod, baby! There was no fish in the tomato juice. What the fuck? Whoa! Uh, 
I got a whole bunch of shit. I can't make fancy potion. Fuck. Oh. Offer the dog dish. That fucking dog has a flower head. Is this yours? Are you Barker? Are you thirsty? Here you go. You put the dish down. Barker sniffs at it, and then the pod opens, revealing a fleshy pink flower with a circle of sharp white teeth at the center! A red-like vine tongue snakes out of it and starts lapping up the plant beverage. Holy jeez. Having finished his drink, Barker closes his head and then sniffs at you, tentatively wags his tail. Uh, good boy, I guess. Urf. You pat him on the head and he wags his tail harder. Looks like you made a friend. Barker... He's my companion? No, Barker is fine. Barker is a great name, buddy. Hey, Gabby, mind waiting for me at AM's place? Oh, you got it. Oh, I didn't know I was gonna get rid of Gabby. Urf. Good boy. Well, he's our friend now. Go inside. Oh, geez, there's a tall, spindly humanoid creature skulking in the corner. Examine it, not closely. This, the creature has long, thin green limbs like flower stems and is clothed, sort of, in ragged white petals. Its head is some kind of a plant pod. You inch just a little bit closer to get a better look and realize that the white petals are actually the torn and frayed scraps of a white lab coat. P Professor Kalos? The creature spins around and hisses angrily. Hiss. I need you to send my transcript. Hiss. I guess we'll fight him. Barker jumps in front of you and barks at the professor. Arf, arf. Wine. Grah. The professor swipes at Barker, knocking him back. Barker yelps and whimpers, but quickly returns to defend you, growling angrily. Good boy. Who the fuck are you? Oh, the oh. <clears throat> it's because I'm part of the mob. And every now and then they just randomly show up. Do the flash. 30% of his... F Ooh, he's got 90 health. Whoa. Okay, so we, we need to use some special fucking items or something. Punctures what's left of... Agamas Kalos causing three bleeding. This will not end your turn. Okay. So now he's poisoned and bleeding. This is good. 12 HP, that's not terrible. Oh, yes! Don't hurt my dog, you bitch. He's not very strong. Sheboygan, that was very weak. Petal Chomp, Barker will bite for five damage. Barker will reduce all falls mysticality. Uh, go for the bite, I guess. Snake, you are my favorite. Oh my god, look at you. Look at you go, Snakey. Bleeding, poisoned. Oh yeah, there he is. The dog might take him down. No, he's got six still. Damn it! That lucky bitch. The snake is just overpowered, dude. I wanted the snake to take him down. But here you go, buddy. A baseball right to the face. Boom! 11 XP. You won. Looks like people who live in glass houses shouldn't uh, be plants. That's right. Search him. Parker sniffs at Professor Kalo's body. Whimper! I'm sorry, boy. I know it's hard, but we did what we had her do. Woof! And what we have to do now is loot his weird corpse. Urf. You picked through and I got his pen. Well, an assignment written. We got the thing done. And we got gardening pants, which... The, oh, my God. Those are pretty good. Regenerate 3 HP per round. What the fuck? 16 HP and I got a pulsating seed pot. Okay, so we could just farm XP right there. We don't need to go and do all that. We're going to go back to the college. And then we're going to go into... What the fuck? Oh, that's where I am. Okay. I didn't recognize myself with the helmet on. I said, who the fuck is that? 
Who the fuck is that guy? We got odd fruit. Thanks, doggy. Oh, wait. No, we're done here. What do I need to do now? Look for the book at SIT. Maybe it's in the library. Okay, so we just need to go to the library now because we officially passed all of our Sheboygans. Info. All right. Hello, dear. Are you new here? Uh, yes, I may am. My name's Janet. Please don't be alarmed by my vis visible mechanical insides. I'm in no pain. Oh, well, that's good. But isn't the um, immobility an issue? Well, I'm perfectly mobile. I have wheels in a robot tenectrix department that has provided me with some very nice telescoping arms. I'm just sitting down right now because with the majority of the students on break, I don't have any books that need shelving. Okay, then. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm looking for a certain book. Would you say it's important in a rare one or an easily replaceable one? Oh, the former, definitely. You'll want to ask Douglas about that. He keeps track. Okay, thanks. Ah, uh, hello again. Are you a student now? I am, yep. I got my student ID and everything. Yes, that looks to be in order. Very well then. My name is Douglas. What can I do for ya? I'm looking for a certain book. I've been doing this job for years, and I assure you, whatever it is, I've heard dumber. Well, I don't know the title of the book, what it's about, and all I know is it's a hardcover, and it's about so big, and probably an antique. Well, something of that size and age would be in our stacks. All the books out front here are in the ones that would be more under doodles in the margins, or use a slice of bologna as a bookmark. Okay. Something of that size and age would be in our, our stacks. Oh, I see. There's a door that says stacks. I see now. Um, hello. <coughs> Douglas calls you over. I'm afraid the stacks are off limits to undergraduates, faculty, and alumni only. So I pass on my course? Exactly. Once you have three signatures on your course, Transit Ted will be able to verify you through. And I should warn you that I think you'd attempt to cheat or anything, but Ted is very good at spotting forgeries and has a lot of pent-up anger and frustrations. Right. Ted clenches and unclenches his fists while watching you carefully. I've got three signatures. You enter your transcript and he inspects it carefully. After a moment, he nods and hands you back the transcript and gestures the door with a thumb. Thanks, Ted. Enter the stacks. We just read that now. What the fuck? He's doing a ritual. Interrupt him. Um, excuse me. What do you want? Can you see I'm busy? Well, it's just that I'm looking for a certain book, and I'll be frankly amazed if it isn't the one you've got on that pedestal there. And you think I'm just going to give it to you? Fight. Fuck it. Thirty-seven. Oh, this guy is so fucking dead. This guy is so fucking dead. We just killed someone that had ninety. Holy shit! Shoot him. Oh, that's not good. He created something. Chomp his ass. All right, so he's dead. He's boned because my snake is just fire. Oh, that thing is very strong. Chomp. Oh, shit. Chomp him. Good job, doggy.
We got a nice little posse farming over here. This is great. Just end this. Zap his ass. You won. The old man staggers backwards and accidentally brushes against the portal. He screeches in pain and terror as he sucked into it with a whoosh. Like a mouse caught by a shop vac. And then the portal vanishes with a quiet... All right, we got the book. This is unmistakably the book you are looking for. Oh wait, this is just a copy of the student handbook. There's nothing unusual about it. Well, shoot. That cursed book gotta be around here somewhere though. Son of a bitch. Why would you get my fucking hopes up, game? Some strange marks are scratched on the walls in between these two shelves. Well, thanks for letting me know about that. Oh, I see the book. Oh, if you click, he'll, you'll make him go all the way around. Oh, here it is. This is unmistakably the book you're looking for. Check it out as an examine it or borrow the book from the library. A uh, both. This book radiates a m radiates menace. The spine is as dry as cracked and cracked as the spine of a spooky skeleton. Spooky, scary skeletons. The binding reminds you of a skeleton bound to the dungeon wall with a rusty manacles. Manacles. The picture of a skeleton on the cover is also evocative of something scary, but you can't place what it is. It's evil! We got the book! Now we could go home. Ocean City, baby. We got your dumb book. I guess we could just go in here and deep thing it. The book. Wait, wait, wait. The book's curse now lives in the machine. I don't think you can project your conscious onto it. Why would it say that? Heal is ugly. Spit on the son of Rome, Grimald. Frapja. Henrique's offers power on the top piece. Power in return for suckling. The sucklings of a she-wolf that has no power. Edgy drinks the milk of bears, and he spits on sons and daughters of Rome. Edgy speaks too much of suckling. Talk plainly. No truce with Empire Grimald. Frapcha. Hmm. Hello, Grimald. Hey, alls. Not often is Latin spoken on our soil without bloodshed. It augurs well for our future. Nurkis offers much power. Ja, the tribes who ally with the Empire are greatly rewarded, but I can name no tribe would be as powerful as you, Grimhild, if you are good to that man. Freidenut, don't speak of marriage at this time. Ah, why scold me? It not go for a far future and yours, a secure peace for all, with much power to you and benefits. Would you not like to have fine squirrels, grimold, and spices, and fine cream? What are we doing? Oh. Avi Barbarian. Hails. I stand before you in the name of Imperator Gauss Julius Caesar Davis, Dominus of these lands. The Imperator's birthday is next Mercury's day. It is big birthday, he will be 40. Sign his birthday card, Barbarian, and the Empire shall look with favor upon ye tribe. I will sign the card. For your king. Ah ha ha ha. Imperator Grim, please. And he is your Emperor too. So you say. What will you write down, Imperator? In Latin, please. Remember your lessons. Oh god, I gotta write? I don't know Latin. Unus. Anus. Oh, I guess that's not Latin. Ew, why can't barbarians teach their children Latin? 
Alright, so I'm just gonna Google it. Felix Natalis. Natalis. Felix Natalis. Oh my god, it worked! Holy shit! Felix Natalis is how you say happy birthday in Latin. Why, this is a wonderful sentiment, flawlessly composed. I confess, I am surprised, Grimald. I did not think even my teaching had carried you so far. I am surprised as well. How did I know that? It matters not. Go forth, beautiful one, and grace the powerful pages of that card with a tribute between you and I. You may expect much power in return. Ab. Well, I signed the card. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. So there's a book over here. A birthday card to Emperor is a powerful document. Oh, we didn't write the message. Felix Natalis. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. Your body's involuntarily flung from the seat of the machine onto the floor. That'll leave a bruise, but at least Caesar's dominion over the tribal lands is assured. But at least Caesar's dominion... Ah, oh, the curse remains unresolved. Fuck! Dang it. Okay, so... Happy birthday, you filthy animals. No, no. What vexes you, Henricus? You fool. What have you done? What have you done, you fool? You fool. You could have had it all, but you spoiled it. If Caesar sees this, his birthday will be ruined. Show him. Show your Caesar what I say. Oh. Oh, I got it this time. The curse that once lodged within that forbidden and nasty text has been unwritten and undone, and you could find it fascinating final chapter you did not notice before. Upgrade. Ten new ways to prepare a mutton. What a bounty. I'm excited to cook something. She doesn't like mutton, apparently. Alright guys, unfortunately that's going to be it for this one. Just a short one tonight. I certainly hope you all sure did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and until next time... See ya.